video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this video, I'm just going to show you the layer and new fill layer option. Now, I'm going to show you just one part of it, which is the gradient, and that's if you just go over here to solid, linear, and elliptical. Now, there's their gradient, so linear or elliptical, radial, conical, and then there's patterns, but I'm going to go for elliptical. Now, there's the gradient, so I'm just going to bring that up. Now you can change the gradient, of course you can just quickly go there, that stop, just a stop there, just change the colour, maybe go for red. Double click that, just bring up another one, and I'm going to go for yellow, just going to make a, any number of colour stops, blue, and double click that again, and I'm going to go for green. Okay. And that last one there, I just changed that to purple. Right, now, again, doesn't seem like much. It actually looks like it's a solid color again. But as soon as you actually go over here, you can actually see you've got the, the gradient there. And the one thing about the elliptical is that you can change the aspect. So you can move it around, and then you can suddenly think, right, I'm just going to change that, or that way. Now, you can also modify the gradient interactively though weirdly you can't actually seem to change the colors well i certainly haven't found any way of changing the colors so there's a number of options you just saw then just when you actually there it's got to adjust all stops proportionally etc there's a whole range of different options i'm certain that over the new versions i'm certain there'll be even more features to change that but it would be nice if you could actually automatically change the color of that but anyway at the moment appears not to be. So what you can do, you can modify the aspect so you can get this really lovely sort of elliptical design and it's a layer. So what you can do then, you can actually say, right, I want to duplicate that layer because you can see over here, layer and just go over to a layer and duplicate. Now at the moment, it doesn't appear to be doing much at all, but again, exactly as before, you could actually just click anywhere in the document and you can add the same gradient. Of course you can modify it, you can just go over here, just bring up the gradient, just change the colours. Again, maybe go for a red, maybe make that white, and so on and so on. So you can actually change it all to the gradients, but it's a layer. So basically what it means is you can actually just go over here to the blending modes and you can change the blending modes. You can just quickly, rapidly, in real time, just go through a whole range of different colours. Exclusion. But I'm going to go for dark and just at this point. But you can so you can move that around. Like I say, also like I say, if you decide you don't want darkened, you can always go for colour instead. And again, move that around. Or negation, which is nice as well. Create some very unusual color schemes. Now, obviously, again, it's still a layer, so you can actually just duplicate that. So you can go, you can go crazy. Let's go add a couple more. So you can actually really create some really unusual, and maybe best to leave it, <laughs> not go too far. But you can certainly change and create some really unusual, and you don't have to go with that. You can, of course, go back and change that to Maybe darken again or multiply. Now, again, they're still modifiable at that point. You can also modify the actual size so you don't have to go with the, or maybe make it again elliptical. You can rotate. You've got an option there for rotate so you can rotate the gradient around. Now, once you've actually decided that's what I want to do with that color scheme, you can actually just go merge visible. So, merge visible. What happens is you've got then you've got this pixel layer, which of course now you've got pixel layer, you can apply other filters. So you can just quickly go to a layer and maybe new live layer, filter layer, and maybe go for twirl. And you can change the radius. So there you have it, a very unusual colourful gradient in a few minutes anyway I would say and you can obviously combine and modify and tweak to your heart's content and create a vast range of different colour schemes 
Infinity Photo. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.